chemistry podcast, John Dalton, 1766 to 1844. John Dalton was born in 1766 in Cumberland. He was taught by his father in his early life, but he himself began teaching in 1778. After 10 years of teaching in Kendall, he moved to the University of Manchester, where he had a job as a teacher and a public lecturer. A year later, he joined the Manchester Lit and Phil Society and presented his first paper about colour blindness. In 1800, he became the secretary of the society and published a series of papers about his greatest interest, meteorology, of which he kept a daily diary for for 57 years, including 200,000 observations. In 1803, Dalton published his gas law, also known as Dalton's Law. This stated that the total pressure exerted by a gaseous mixture is equal to the sum of the partial pressure of each individual component in that gas mixture. This shows that the total pressure is equal to that of the partial pressure of the first gas plus the second gas plus the third gas to equal the total pressure of the gaseous mixture. After Dalton's experiments, including those into the constitution of mixed gases, he concluded by calculating the atomic weights of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, sulphur and phosphorus. He calculated these weights from percentage composition of compounds using an arbitrary system to determine what he thought to be the probable atomic structure of each of these compounds. Dalton's experiments into meteorology and the partial pressure of gases allowed him to come up with the key principles of his atomic theory. First, he suggested elements are made of the smallest particles called atoms, which are indestructible and indivisible, so they cannot be split. Secondly, he said, all atoms for a particular element are identical in mass and other properties. Thirdly, atoms of different elements have different weight. Fourthly, a chemical reaction is a rearrangement of atoms. Atoms are not created and are indestructible. Finally, compounds are formed by a combination of two or more kinds of atoms. So how does John Dalton fit into the history of the atomic theory by way of comparison with other scientists? Well, in 400 BC, Democritus, a Greek philosopher, presented ideas of atomic theory. However, he could not prove anything by way of experiment. In 1803, John Dalton provided the first evidence for atomic theory that has ever been before. In 1844, John Dalton died in Manchester, where he was buried. In 1869, Dimitri Mendeley invented the periodic table, which is sorted by atomic mass. In 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered electrons and that atoms can be split. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford proved that atoms are mostly empty space. Both of these scientists disproved Dalton's theory that atoms are indivisible, and therefore it had to be altered and reviewed. 1912, Frederick Soddy proposed the existence of isotopes, which disproved Dalton's principle that all atoms of the same element are identical. In 1913, Henry Moseley scientifically justified the atomic number. Dalton's contribution to the modern atomic theory is so great that in 2005, to honour him, the Dalton Nuclear Institute, as part of Manchester University, was named after him. It is the UK's largest and most connected academic facility for nuclear research and development. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To hear the next one, please click the link below.